Hey everyone, good afternoon. Let me just make sure that I'm live. It looks like I'm live. So good afternoon. Carol Buckaloo with Inky Bee Stampers. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, I have a cute little card for you today. Uh, this is an easel card uh, using the uh, Easter Bunny stamp set and isn't that adorable? Um, really cute and super easy to make. Uh, so let's get started. I have a few things pre-prepared. Uh, my card base is uh, Mango Melody and it is eight and a half by five and a half and it is scored at two and an eighth and four and a quarter. Hey Mary, thanks so much for joining. Oh, thanks, yeah, aren't those little bunnies cute? Um, but for right now, I'm gonna work on another uh, panel of Mango Melody and this is five and a half by four and a quarter. Um, and I've got a couple of pieces here. Um, so this card, uh, hey Faith, thanks so much for joining. Faith, I hope you're feeling better. Um, so this card was designed for the Happy Ink and Thursday Blog Hop, which goes off tomorrow. So if you jump on over to my site tomorrow, you'll be able to hop around uh, and see all of the great creations that my team members have created. Um, but if you notice, these panels will go on this um, piece of Mango Melody, and I do have some additional space at the top and at the bottom as compared to the left and right sides. Uh, and I was, this is my interpretation of a sketch challenge. So we'll see how I did. Um, but for right now, let's get a little bit of stamping done. I did some pre-stamping already. This is actually going to be the panel for the inside of our card. And then I've got a little green strip here, and that's gonna be a little grass hill. So let's get the grass hill taken care of, and then we'll stamp uh, the inside of the card, and then we can do a little bit on the envelope as well. So I have from the Easter Bunny stamp set, there is a little stamp here, and I already got that over ink, so let me clean that off before I make a mess. Um, I'm using the little, uh, little grass image, and what I'm going to do is just really stamp this up all over this little green strip of old olive, and I'm and I'm, I'm going to overlap my grasses because uh, I want it to look like, you know, like we have a nice lush lawn here for our bunnies. And I'm really not being careful about this. And I'm stamping in every direction. So no need to be uh, super fussy with this. Gosh, I'm a little hoarse today. It is, it is uh, getting to be allergy season here on the East Coast. My daffodils are coming up. They're not up yet, but they're thinking about it. All right, that's all I'm going to do with that little strip. And then I really make it a mess re-inking this. So let me clean that off again. I should have washed my chamois off before I started today, so hopefully <laughs> I don't get ink everywhere. Oh, you've got jonquils up, pollen on the pond. Yeah, so it's spring in your neck of the woods already. We don't have pollen yet, and that lasts for weeks. Um, I do want to be a little more careful here on the inside panel in stamping my grasses. Uh, I want to try and just get them as even uh, as I can across the bottom. Um, and this is a, a great little grass stamp. I love this stamp. There we go. Okay, we can put the green ink away. Well, no, let me get my envelope. I want to just stamp one little patch of grass here on the front of my envelope. Okay, there we go. That's good. And then I'm going to grab some early espresso ink. 
and I have a little butterfly image from the Easter Bunny set. Um, and we are going to stamp in early espresso two little butterflies on our inside panel. Kind of get one going one way and one kind of flying up. And I'm going to stamp a little butterfly on our envelope front. Like that. Okay. That's good. And let me go ahead. I'm going to set these things aside for just a second. Let me go ahead and stamp. We are going to have two sentiments on the card. The smaller sentiment will go on the front of the card. And then the larger sentiment will be actually our uh, easel stop to hold the card, the easel portion of the card up. So let me grab some Mango Melody ink. I have to ask my mom if her snowdrops are coming up. I keep forgetting to ask her, um, but she has pretty white snowdrops. And pretty much when you see them, Easter or uh, spring is on its way. Alrighty, let me see if I can get this centered and even and hopefully. So the sentiment for the outside of our car says enjoy all the little moments. And let me grab my other sentiment here. And this one is Happy Easter. This will be holding up our easel on the card. And these labels, um, I'll, I'll share with you here in a minute, because I'm having a brain freeze on where these label dies came from. <laughs> so, okay, there we go. So that is it for stamping. I actually pre-stamped some bunnies and some carrots, but the labels I used, the label dies I used are from the Stylish Shapes die set. And I used the two largest label dies, um, this one and this one. These are great dies to have in your collection. They, I use these all, all the time. All right, let's, um, let's continue here. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of coloring out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna color our grass with the light shade of Old Olive uh, Stampin' Blend. Yeah, those dies really, the Stylus Shapes dies are really, really wonderful. Love them. I use them all, all the time. So yes, this, these are a lot of little blades of grass to color. Uh, try to make quick work of it. But we know how that goes. So it's about 47 degrees here today. The sun was out earlier, it's gotten overcast. I think the South is expecting some more severe weather today, unfortunately. Oh, Faith, did you get any snow? I know, or, or is it just the elevations that got the snow? I was wondering about that. Okay, almost done here. Sure, those are a lot of little plates of grace, aren't they? All right. I am not going to color the grass um, on the envelope. I decided I wasn't going to do that, but I am going to color our little, our little butterfly. You're getting rain in Atlanta too. Yeah, I heard that, Faith, that the water uh, in California, the runoff all goes back into the Pacific. That's really a shame. 
So I'm using the light shade of So Saffron and I'm going to color in the whole part of the butterfly. Um, I'm going over the spots too, but I'm going to come back and color those spots in with the dark shade of Pumpkin Pie. I wanted my butterflies to be yellow and orange. I think that's very spring-like. Okay, and then I'll come back in with the dark shade of Pumpkin Pie and just color in the little circles on our butterfly. Oh, I gotta remember to do the envelope too. But these are really cute. Such happy images. Very spring-like. All right. I am going to attempt to color this little tiny image uh, lightly, hopefully no bleed through. Cross your fingers. I usually put a scrap piece of cardstock inside my card when I'm coloring on envelopes. I tend to have a heavy hand, but hopefully we can do this without any bleed through. Okay, let's see how I did. Yay, <laughs> no bleed through, woohoo. Okay, and so I did uh, pre-stamp and pre-cut, fussy cut. Uh, two little bunnies, the sitting bunny and the standing bunny, and two little carrots. So the Easter Bunny stamp set did come with a, um, a punch, and that punch has sold out, and it's not available any longer, unfortunately. But I'm not the best fussy cutter in the world, admittedly, um, but I can tell you that the little bunnies are, are very easy to cut out. The little carrots, they're tiny, uh, but I managed to cut the little carrots out. Um, but let's go ahead and get our second bunny fussy cut. And when you're fussy cutting, you want to hold your scissors stationary. You want to work at the back throat of the scissors. I believe that's called the um, fulcrum. If, is that right, Mary? And um, you want to turn the paper, not the scissors. And again, I am not the best fussy cutter in the world. I am trying to leave a small margin of white around the image. And let's see how I do here. Oh, thank you, Amy. The, the Easter Bunny Punch will be back in in mid-May. Thank you for uh, that correction. However, that doesn't help anyone that might want it. Uh, poor Easter. But again, like I said, this is not the hardest image in the world to fussy cut. You just kind of need to take your time. And if you need to go back, which I probably will, uh, just to kind of trim up, uh, that's okay too. Like for instance, I just gave them a point a year. So let me kind of round that off there. All right. My problem is I don't have, I don't think the dexterity that I need to fussy cut. At least that's my excuse. You know, these straight parts are pretty easy to do. Amy, thanks so much for joining. Appreciate it. I just saw a weird blip go across the screen. I'll tell you, some days Facebook doesn't 
doesn't seem to cooperate sometimes. All right, almost done here. I can't say this is the best fussy cutting job in the world, but I think he looks okay. I am going to, if I can find my bone folder and just kind of smooth those cut edges out. I think he looks pretty good. I know, isn't the little, the little bunnies are so stinking cute. I just love them. All right, so I think we can scooch our stuff off here, the scrap paper, and get rid of this. And let me go ahead. What I want to do is I want to also, um, I want to cut a little gentle rolling hill out of the strip of old olive that I've stamped on. Uh, and I'm just going to um, just make it a gentle curves, but our little bunnies are kind of on a little grassy, grassy hill. And I'm not cutting very deep. Um, but just kind of making some little round hills. Alrighty, there we go. And I am going to um, to glue this onto a panel of uh, DSP. This is the Rain or Shine um, 12 by 12 Specialty Designer Series paper. I love, love, love this paper. Uh, it's the one with the little bunnies and turtles and the rain. Um, so cute, but this was a reverse pattern and when I put glue on here I want to leave the center top of my hill unglued um, And you'll see why here in just a minute Let's kind of line that up Loop. And make sure that's even You know, I even thought about putting a white cotton tail um, on on the bunnies. Wouldn't that be cute? Get a little bit of cotton and just add a little dimension to the bunnies. And I meant to do that. I actually meant to look and see if I had any cotton balls. And I was thinking about making their little their little tails fluffy. So I am. Um, just matting this DSP onto a piece of basic white cardstock. Um, just because um, there's so much Mango Melody in this DSP that when I put it on um, this, this other Mango Melody panel, it was kind of getting lost. So that little bit of white frame around the DSP helps to... Um, let you know that, that there's a distinction between the pieces there on the card front. And I'll go ahead and get this matted up. And like I mentioned, um, I'm going to center this left to right and top to bottom. But this card was designed for, um, for a sketch challenge for the Happy Ink and Thursday blog hop. And so... Um, <laughs> this is this is my interpretation of that um, of that uh, sketch challenge. So on my sitting bunny, and I know this may be hard for you to see, but there actually is you know you can see his rear paw and his little front paw here. I'm going to actually cut between his little paws there up to his body um, because I want him holding the carrot. And I'm just going to make a little cut right to his body there. And then I'm going to be able to slip in one of these little carrots. Really fussy, right? Um, I'm going to bend his little paw back if you need to. But uh, I want him holding the carrot. Um, so what I'm going to do is just place a tiny dot of glue. Oh, you're having internet issues. That's no fun. Let me just double check. Okay, yeah. I just needed to make sure to see where I needed that little drop of glue. One there and just a dab 
on the bunny's belly. And let me see if I can slip this in there and kind of angle, angle the carrot out. There we go. Okay. You keep getting a momentary black screen too. Yeah, that happens sometimes and I just don't know why. It's really frustrating. So that little bunny is offering his carrot to his, to the other little bunny here. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and the second carrot that I fussy cut is going to go between the two bunnies uh, right there in the center. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and just put a little drop of glue and I'm going to take this, use my hand because, let me see here if I can slip that up. There we go. And I'm just going to drop that little carrot in there like that. But uh, I love creating these little scenes with these with these stamped images. So darn cute. I'm going to pop our bunnies up with Stampin' Dimensionals, uh, both of them. And I cut my dimensionals in half. Um, and it comes in really handy for images like this, um, where you need to kind of get into small spaces. Um, put one more down here, maybe. I can always add another if I need it. Oh, Amy, I'm glad to hear you're not having issues. Um, but I was seeing some weird blips across the screen. Sometimes the screen will go black. Uh, black for a moment and I don't know why that happens there we go and we're gonna just put this little bunny want to make sure that his feet are in the grass and we're just going to put him right there and let's go ahead and get our second bunny popped up we need to support his ears a little bit and one more maybe up there and we'll get the dimensional covers off there we go and we're going to put our second little bunny again making sure he's in the grass there we go, no barking, no. Somebody's getting ready to bark. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I have a second panel of DSP uh, for the inside of the card and I chose to cover the entire inside of the card with DSP and then I'll go ahead and place the inside panel on top of that. Uh, but let me go ahead and get this in. There we go. And then the inside panel. Um, oh, Ginny is wagging her tail. <laughs> yeah. But Maisie thought she saw something she needed to bark at. I th hopefully I've discouraged her. And she doesn't. Um, usually they're sleeping when I'm doing my videos. But today they are both awake. And I'm going to go ahead and just drop my inside panel. And I'm leaving a reveal uh, so that I can see the DSP around that panel. And get that glued down. There we go. And so for our card front, uh, I'm simply uh, going to apply glue from the bottom front edge of the card front up into that first uh, two and an eighth score line. And I'll put glue in here and we can attach our panel to the card front. Um, but these cards are so easy. Uh, the easel cards are so easy to do. And, you know, this, this is... Definitely a great kids card. 
uh, for sure. I don't know what little kid wouldn't like little Easter bunnies, but so cute. And I am simply just, you know, kind of stacking these up and holding the sides to make sure um, that I've got those panels lined up and that we're good and solid there. I think we are. Okay, and so there's our little easel card. Uh, let me go ahead and get our sentiment labels put on. Oh, she likes to bark at the cat across the street. Yeah, uh, we have a cat next door. And the cat knows that the dogs can't get to it. And Maisie doesn't really mind the cat so much, but Mackenzie really wants to get the cat bad. <laughs> I mean, she cries, and, and that cat will just saunter right in front of them, right at the fence line. Um, and, you know, not a care in the world, and it just drives Mackenzie nuts. My sentiment label's really curled up here, and I'm not sure why. It's not humid or anything today. And so I want to place the sentiment label um, just off my DSP panel on the front here on the left corner and try to get it straight. And there we go. I think I was successful. That looks good. But we're almost done here. How are we doing on time? I got a few minutes left. Um, Gosh, they're sitting right in front of me. I was looking for the dimensionals. Holy moly. And like I mentioned, this larger um, label is going to be the stop for our easel card. These would be really cute images, too, to stand for children. Um, and, um, and let them color them in. Kids would like that, I think. All right. So I'm holding my easel up here with my left hand. And I'm trying to kind of center this on my grid paper. I want to... I'm kind of following this bottom edge down here to make sure I have it straight. It looks like we are straight and you can see how popping that label up with the dimensionals uh, holds up the card nicely. Okay, uh, almost done here. We did our envelope just about. Uh, so I have some white baker's twine here and I'm just gonna take a short length probably much longer than I need. And I am going to tie the tiniest bow you've ever seen. It's going to be big at first, but I'm going to make it tiny. Um, because I thought one of our little bunnies should be a little girl bunny. And uh, I wanted to give her a bow on her neck. And uh, just fiddle with it here for a second. That's a tiny bell. All right, I think we got it small enough. And give that a trim. And I'm gonna just put that bow right there. Whoop, I got one, one of the little tails longer than the other. And I'm gonna use a mini glue dot to adhere that to um, the rabbit's neck. I'm gonna kind of curl that glue dot up and just kind of put it right there at her neckline. And I'm using my tweezers to just kind of make sure that's nice and rolled up. And we can adhere a little tiny bow. There we go. All right. Um, let me find a little 
little disorganized today. So I have the Loose Frosted Dots. And these are one of the online exclusive items. I love these dots. They are so pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do here is just put down some tiny dots of glue. I'm going to put, um, put one here to the left of the sentiment label. And uh, let's put one over here. And let's put some down in our grass. So I'm just dotting some glue here and there. And let's what, put one over here and maybe one more right here. Um, these do take just a, a second to dry, um, but I'm going after some, spill these out here. And I need my take, take your pick tool. And of course they all landed on their backs. Um, but let's see if I can successfully get these down. But these are really pretty gems. So they don't have the adhesive back, obviously. Um, but they're just really pretty. They're very translucent. I don't know if you can see the one that I put on the grass over here. Uh, it's a yellow dot, but it's actually reflecting, whoops, it's actually reflecting green. And just a couple more. Whoops. Get down where he doesn't want to stay. There we go. And I need just one more. Grab a little one, and there's different sizes of the dots. It's like a small, medium, and large. Um, but they're just real pretty. They add a little something extra. Okay, so that is our card done. And all I have left to do is put a piece of um, coordinating DSP onto our envelope flap, and we are done. Your dog's name is Ginny, Amy. What kind of dog do you have? We love our puppies for sure, I'll tell you. They keep us entertained. Oh, thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. Whoops, wrong way. Pay attention. Yeah, I see my screen blipping. That is so weird. I don't know why that happens. She's a golden doodle. Oh, they're so nice. I soft. I bet she is super soft. And doesn't shed. I wish our dogs didn't shed. That's the only thing. They do shed. We get little white fluff balls on the floor. Okay. Almost done here. But I started saying, you know, you could stamp, um, you could stamp these cute little um, Easter Bunny images for um, for kids and have them color them in. I know that uh, we have a team member who does that for her for her girls, uh, and they really enjoy it. So that is um, the card for today. Uh, quick and easy easel card, lots of fun. Super great for the little ones. I think we are all done. Um, so, online exclusives are now available. Um, and as the name implies, there are new items uh, that have been added to the online store. So be sure to check those out. Visit my site at inkybstampers.com. And uh, on the right-hand panel, uh, you can click on Shop With Me Now, and that will take you to my store. And the online exclusives is right on the front page right now. Uh, but lots of really cool items. There's a couple of suites. Um, of, uh, well, there's a couple of bundles, but there is one sweet collection uh, that you can purchase. There's some circle punches, which I may have to grab up because I don't have any. Um, some really cool 3D embossing folders. 
uh, I'll be featuring a card on Friday using one of those. And so, yeah, um, check it out, online exclusives. Uh, and I want to thank you for joining me today. Oh, her name is Fluffy. That's appropriate for a golden, duty, golden doodle because they are fluffy. They're so stinking cute. All right. Thanks again for joining me. I will see you next Wednesday, 1 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.